Hey there YouTube, this is DrawingKid1313, and welcome to episode 5 of my Let's Play series, uh, for Minecraft 1.2.3, that is. Um, so, there is, oh god no, you're messing up all my crops, god I hate cats so much, I'm like just gonna make that a separate room, I'm going to make this a separate room, that'll be ready for next episode. Uh, because I'm tired of, like, just walking out here and, like, realizing that half the thing is destroyed because of damn cats jumping up and down on it and whatnot. Um, but anyway, before I got distracted with that, um, a few things while I eat my cake. Um, a few things that I've done. Uh, as you can see, I have been on here a little bit, so I've acquired a good amount of EMC, so I'm just gonna charge up my Kleinstar here. Um, so I did a... A little bit of work, kind of uh, in preparation for today's episode. Uh, cool, I have a full client stars by, which is uh, pretty awesome. If I do say so myself. Um, as you can see, if you look at my chest over here, they are all empty. Cool, cool. All empty, and I moved everything all the way over to this nifty little room that I have right here, where I have my food and mob drops, my rare things, my ingots, and all that other fun stuff. Um, so, what are we going to do today? That is a great question which I am going to answer right now. Um, well, just gonna kinda check on everything right here. Um, cool, I have some copper. I went, I did some mining, um, so I have some, some ingots and whatnot cooking up. Um, but anyway, I'm going to do something with this room. I think, uh, last episode I mentioned that, uh, I was going to do something that pertained to bees, possibly. Hmm? Hmm? Um, but yeah, I'm going to do something that has to do with, uh, bees. Um, bees have become a- God damn it, cats! No, come the fuck back here. Um... But yeah, anyway, back to what I was saying. Bees have become a, uh, a huge part of forestry. Uh, I mean, they started out as, like, kind of not much. Um, but, I mean, they have just, like, really grown, and, uh, they're a big part of forestry. Uh, I'll just say that. Um, so they're a really big thing, and, uh, I want to start with it, because you can get some pretty neat stuff, uh, from the bees that you can get. Um, so first off, let's go ahead and make it daytime. Um, so... Bees, with the 1.4 point something update, uh, the update that they did for Minecraft 1.2.3, um, they added in a few new spe species of bees. Um, if you were, are, a, uh, are familiar with uh, the old forestry, you had your meadows, and then you had your forest as the two type of, types of bees that you could find uh, laying around in the wild. Um, so... Uh, what was I saying? Um, so, um, with the new update, uh, <laughs> finally remembered, but with the uh, new update, um, they have added three more species, two more species, uh, I think, I want to say that they added two different, uh, spe species that you could find in the wild. Um, and these would be the ones that you could find in the forest, and the ones that you could find in the desert. And, um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to craft up something that will allow us to, uh, get these bees. Alright? Um, and you probably saw that I have had one over in my chest over there. Um, but I want to craft a new one, just so you guys can see me doing it. Um, so this is called a scoop. And it's, you know, crafted with just sticks and some wool right there in the middle. This school scoop is what allows you to get bees from the uh, hives that you may find laying around in your world. Um, so I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and take our portal gun and we'll leave a blue portal right there. That way we don't have to walk all the way back to our house. Um, so something that I'm going to do is I'm going to try and find a, uh, a meadows -ish biome. Um, and I believe there's one over here if I just kind of look in my uh, mini-map there, and, uh, yeah, I just destroyed that, I'll fix that later. Um, damn it, damn it, damn it! 
Oh no. <laughs> oh, 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 just all kinds of stuff going on here. Uh, let me get out of here real quick. No, cat, would you just stop? Just stop. Um, so anyway, I'm just gonna swim over here. And, uh, in that direction over there, I believe there is a, uh, a meadows type biome. Um, so I'm just gonna run over there. And, uh, while I'm in the forest, since there's a lot of exciting things to see in the forest, I think I'm just going to leave the recording on uh, so that you guys can see uh, everything that goes on and uh, whatnot. So, you know, this is just me doing some parkour in the forest, breaking my legs, climbing up some vines, and uh, all that fun stuff. Why? Are there... Can someone explain to me why... Damn it. Can someone explain to me why there's so many sheep in the in the uh, jungle biome? I don't understand that. Uh, I don't feel like sheep would be in the jungle. That's just my opinion, though. Um. So anyway, you know, just kind of walking over here, getting distracted, and uh, rambling on and on, so that I could try and bore you guys as much as possible. <laughs> um. So, I believe I see it. Yep, we're like right next to it. Oh. Alrighty. Hey look, some coal. Uh, almost there, almost there, almost there. Alright. Oh, by the way, uh, I forget who it was. And uh, I might look it up uh, next time I like take a break in the recording or whatever. Uh, but you guys, uh, someone suggest- why are there torches all over here? But, uh, someone suggested, um, that I use- oh, jeez, what was it? It was some kind of texture pack. Let me look it up real quick. Uh, um, um, um. Yeah, there's some kind of texture pack that you guys, um, suggested for me. And let's see if I could find it right here. I'm just kind of scrolling through my emails. Oh, oh, the uh, Sortex texture pack. Um, so I, I looked that up, and uh, it is a very nice texture pack. I really do like it. Um, the only problem is, is it's not completely updated for 1.2.3, and uh, a lot of the mods that it says it comes with uh, still is not updated. Um, so I installed it and I was using it for a little bit and I noticed that some of the textures were glitchy. Uh, like for example, they had no texture for wooden planks, um, which was a problem. Um, so you know, it was just a few things. I just wanted to mention that to you guys. So as you can see, I found a Meadows Hive right here. Um, this is just one of the many hives that are available. And I know that it's kind of easier to find things in the night because they uh, give off a certain light level, uh, kind of similar to that of a torch. Um, but knowing me, I'd die if I were to try and do that. So anyway, I'm just going to take my scoop and I'm going to hit it, and we get two drops out of it. Here we have a Meadows Princess, and we have a Meadows Drone. Exciting, exciting stuff. Um, so, if I run back here and I roam around in the, uh, oh, there's some iron and some coal down there. But if I roam around the, uh, jungle biome over here, uh, hopefully soon I will find a, uh, another hive that I could show you guys. Alright, so I was just kind of searching around here. I was using the zoom function. And look at that way off in the distance. I think that looks like an oil spout, uh, right in the middle of the forest. And it, uh, looks like a pretty tall one, too. Uh, so I say we jump off this tree and hopefully don't kill ourselves as we land in the water. And uh, we're going to head on over there because uh, that looks pretty cool and I want to check it out. Plus I'm still waiting for it to get... Uh, abs oh, it is absolutely dark. Never mind. My wishes are ground granted. Woohoo! Um, but yeah, I just wanted to see that oil spawn because I was like using the zoom function. And I look closer at my monitor I'm like, what is that? Is that oil? Um, but yeah, I thought that was funny. As you can see over there, there is a... Uh, a uh, meadows, a uh, meadows hive way over there. Um, so you know that's pretty cool. They also spawn in swamps, as well as the uh, little mountainous biome that I was in. So 
Still have yet to really see a uh, forest thing. <laughs> Look at this. Damn, that is huge. <laughs> oh, I just think that is so cool. I'll have to like remember this spot. How far away is this from my home? Oh, but I hear a uh, skeleton attacking me. Um, but really quick, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a waypoint. I'm just going to name this oil, and it's going to be let's just do like a a blue, really bright blue. Okay. That's good enough. Now let's see if we can find a uh, forest thing. And, uh, still skeleton. Um, so aren't you guys lucky? You get to see me wander around my world as well as get killed dozens of times. And, uh, good thing the skeleton seems to have horrible aim. Uh, or else I'd probably be dead by now. So I'm just gonna kind of wander around and hope that I can find something. Um, and if I don't, I will spoil it for you, and, uh, I was running around a while ago, uh, actually over the weekend, and, uh, I got a few jungle, jungle bot, uh, bees from the, uh, hives. Um, so I'll tell you what, so you guys, ooh, look, a pink, ugh, oh jeez, maybe I won't clip the recording here because I want you guys to see just how much of a epic fail I am. Spider can't keep up with my awesome parkour, can he? Oh! Oh god, I don't even know my, where my house is. Let me go! <laughs> oh no, there is a spider there. Let me go, let me go, let me go. What the heck? What the heck? Did you guys see that? No! Ah, no! No, bad spider. Why did I throw my sword at you? Alright, I, like, need to get home as soon as possible. See, this is why I didn't want to go out in the dark, guys. Yeah, I'm scared of the dark. In Minecraft. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, before I embarrass myself any further... I'm going to pause the recording here, and uh, I'll be back when I actually find something worth showing you guys. And guys, behold, the forest hive. Um, so, if we go ahead and break this, and I think I had a spider following me, it's, yeah, it's right there. It's just going to leave me alone. So I'm going to go ahead and collect these, and as you can see, it dropped two things, a tropical drone and a tropical princess. So that's pretty cool, and I'm actually not far away from my uh, house. I think it's just off in that direction, and yes, I am right. So I'm just going to kind of use the desert. Oh, and there's the spider chasing after me. Wonderful. And we are home, guys. whoop deed. <laughs> I forgot I put a portal down. <laughs> Wasn't that the whole port point of it? Eh, yeah. Uh, the portal isn't as much for me, uh, traveling places, it's more for me just picking things up and throwing them. Um, yeah, I completely forgot about that. I'm a noob. Um, so anyway, like I said, over here, and you guys probably saw that, um, I collected a modest drone, unknown genome, um, but yeah, I collected a modest princess and a modest drone, which these are, um, obtained by the, uh, desert hives. Um, and then I have my meadows, and I have two sets of tropical. So obviously we need some something to put these, uh, bees in that we have here. So I'm simply just gonna go over here, I'm gonna deposit some of the junk that I have. Uh, this should go in my red... No, it should go in my forestry. Um, somewhere. Somewhere. There we go. Um, so yeah. If we go ahead and eat here, that way I don't die of starvation. We open up any eye here, and, uh, we scroll through, we should see something that is called an apiary. How cool. Let's look at the recipe for it. We need some tin gears. 
some glass, and we also need a sturdy machine. Excuse me, guys. I'm sorry. I'm just going to be honest with you. I woke up this morning, and uh, my throat hurts so bad. To be honest, it kind of hurts to talk right now. Um, but I just love you guys so much that I can't not upload a video for today. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to go into my ingots. I'm just going to grab a fair amount of tin. Uh, let's see, we have one, two, three, and uh, four. But I think I'm just going to leave these alone. And these are going to be... Uh, I'm going to deal with those later. And actually, I'm not really sure if these modest drones will do anything in the uh, desert biome. Um, so, I don't know. We'll find out. Maybe I'll just keep these on me just in case um, the desert don't work out. Because I know these tropical ones will uh, because they're from the forest and I'm in the forest. Um, so, anyway, back to what we were crafting. What we need is we need some, uh, some gears. Uh, these gears uh, are mainly a part of a uh, build craft and uh, let's see if we have three apiaries that we want to build we have um, we need four gears for each that makes 12 so I'm going to need more wood yep, 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 yep. there we go got some wood throw that in there get that and we have our We have our wood so we can get our sticks. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and craft. And basically the way, the way that the gears work are in um, tier, tiers. Ugh, if I can like click somehow. But yeah, they work in uh, tiers. Uh, so the lowest being wood, which is just made out of uh, sticks. Four sticks equals a wooden gear. Um, so we got that, which is cool. But we want to upgrade our wooden gears to cobble, which I'm actually low on. Um, so the way that you upgrade these is you put the gear in the middle, and you put uh, whatever material you're upgrading it to around the side. So I'm upgrading it to stone, so I put cobblestone around the edges, and I get stone gears. But like I said, we want tin gears. So the way this works is we put tin around the stone. So that is cool, we don't have enough. Let's go ahead and go into our ingots and just grab another half stack, even though I know we don't need that. And I'm pressing all sorts of wrong buttons. Um, but anyway, going to go get our stone gears. And we got that. Very cool. Let's go ahead and put our tin away. Very good. So another thing that we needed is uh, something called a sturdy machine. A sturdy machine is made out of what's called bronze. Now there are a few ways that you can get bronze. Either you could smelt it in a fur- or no, you can't smelt it in a furnace. Either you um, combine the copper dust and you combine tin dust. You combine one tin dust and three copper dust uh, in a crafting table and you get bronze dust. And then you would smelt this and you get bronze. This is part of the uh, industrial craft. Um, but an easier way to do that is uh, by simply taking uh, tin and copper and you put one piece of tin and three pieces of copper in a recipe like so and you get bronze ingots. Now of course it doesn't really look right because it's not matching the texture pack but uh, like I said hopefully I'll work on that and maybe I'll get it soon. I'm also thinking of continuing with my uh, texture pack that I had in my first season of my Let's Play video. Uh, if you didn't see that, you should definitely go ahead and check it out. Um, but basically, it was kind of like a, a texture pack that was similar to that of uh, FV Disco's OCD texture pack, uh, which I did not copy off of, by the way. I uh, came up with the idea kind of by myself, and uh, yeah. And then I, I was looking online, and then I was like, oh, great, there's like something almost similar to it. Um, but anyway, we got our bronze ingots right here. And what we need is we need, I probably made a little too many. Uh, we only need three sturdy machines, because remember, we're, we're building uh, three apiaries. So I'll just go ahead and take this bron these bronze ingots, and I'll just put them randomly in my chest, along with the uh, tin. Alright, so we got that, we got our tin gears, we got our glass, and we got our sturdy machines. 
let's go ahead and craft this stuff up. So we got our tin gears like that. We got our glass. And I put one more, one too many. And as you can see, we have our apiaries right here. So I'm going to go ahead and take this. And uh, while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to need one thing. And that would be... Uh, maybe I don't have it. I'll probably have it in my uh, transmutation table. <sighs> Just grab an apple. You'll see why in a second. So anyway, I'm going to go over to my transmutation table, and I'm going to put my client star in there. I'm going to get an apple, and will this get me what I want? No. Will that get me what I want? No. Great. We need some roses, and why not just get a thing of flowers, some roses. Um, ew. do the rest in flowers, and I'll just leave the rest in there. Um, so let's go ahead upstairs. To this room and uh, let's see I'm gonna put that one right there I'm gonna put that one right there I'm gonna put that one right there cool so it's a uh, pretty even it looks nice very cool so as you can see right now there's no queen obviously and uh, the way this works is if we put our uh, meadows drone in the bottom and we put our princess in the top they mate and as you can see they're doing their little thing and you can see that it's in a hostile environment. Shit. So maybe this won't work. Alright, well, it looks like I'm only going to be dealing with uh, tropical stuff. So if we let these ones mate, they go ahead and do their thing. And we have a tropical queen. Uh, now... I don't believe they're going to do anything right now. Um, and this is because... Let me go ahead and put these in here. Backwards. And uh, this is because I believe... Um, if you were to do like a regular Meadows Princess, uh, you would need to use flowers. Um, because, you know, bees need flowers. So you have flowers. Um, but anyway, since I don't have flowers, I'm going to go over here. I'm going to get some iron. And we're going to go ahead to our crafting table, even though I don't really need this. We're going to craft up some shears. And we're going to go outside. We're going to do a little more exploring. Close. Alright, so let's see. I don't believe that you can collect... Oh, you can. Alright, well maybe I'll just try and collect a little bit more. Alright, so I got some of these, and I'm not too sure if these will work. Uh, I'm kind of new to this whole thing. That's not my house. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of new to this whole thing, so we're going to run upstairs, leave my door open so we can get some fresh air. It looks like a nice day. And we're going to go over here. First off, we're going to check on how these are doing. As you can see, we got the warning that says, New Flowers. Now we're going to see if this will work. Up, oh, up, oh, up. Oh. Yep, it, it definitely works. Definitely works. Um, is it true that... Oh. Uh. Uh, I'm most likely gonna die, guys. Don't make fun of me. Shears don't have an EMC value. Oh, look at that! I stopped. Damn it! Am I done yet? Nope. Uh. What I'm looking for here is a uh, bucket of milk. I heard that this cures poison. And yes, it does. Um, so, <laughs> as you can see from my inability to plan, when these uh, jungle bees mate and, you know, do their little thing, uh, they have the chance to poison you. 
and obviously it's not only annoying but it can possibly kill you so what I'm going to do is I'm just gonna get a few more buckets of milk and uh, I'm going to just grab a few all right so we got that we got our Klein star put that in there just so we could learn it um so I'm gonna go over here gonna have my milk ready and as you can see it created what's called silky combs and right now it's nighttime so they're not gonna do anything these silky combs that's that's interesting let's uh, go ahead and Ooh, this is turning out to be an epic fail don't make fun of me I'm a noob and I have never done anything with this uh, this new update uh, with forestry before these cats are obnoxious um so yeah let me get a, a little more organized on what exactly I want to tell you guys how the hell are you in there oh, God damn it. I hate these guys so much I hate all of you none of you are my friends I don't like any of you you're like ruining my crops you have no respect for my uh, needs okay you know what never mind I'm leaving my couple right there uh, like I said let me get a little more organized on what exactly it is I want to say and uh, I'll be right back all right so I'm back here um, so as you can see from my uh, lack of knowledge uh, well I kinda knew this but I wasn't exactly sure on how everything worked but these uh, tropical queens what they do is they poison you And, um, so you have to be really careful when you're around these. And I'm going to try not to be around these, uh, when they're doing their thing. But anyway, I'm just going to try it with these, uh, modest drones over here. And I may get a warning that says that it's, like, not in the desert, but I don't know. Yup, 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 yup. Says it's in a hostile environment. Well, aren't these guys from the desert? I don't really see how that makes sense. Um, but anyway... Uh, let me run out of here, and um, I'm going to show you what you can do with this uh, silky comb right here. So, let's run over here, and go into NEI, and we're going to look at a few more of the uh, machines that we could build with this. As you can see, there's an apiary, centrifuge, and a squeezer. What I'm interested in is in this uh, centrifuge. And that's used, uh, that's made with copper and a sturdy machine. So let's, uh, I believe I have enough bronze and we just need six copper. Simple enough, right? Let's go ahead and craft things up. Sturdy machine. Copper. Glass. And we got our centrifuge. Now... One thing this is going to need is it's going to need power to run. The way that this works is uh, it uses in it uses buildcraft power. You know, be it like uh, an engine such as a redstone engine, or you could use uh, like biogas engines, peat-fired engines, or electrical engines, which uh, transform. Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Industrial craft energy into buildcraft energy, which is pretty nifty. But I don't quite have the uh, stuff that I need in order to do that. So I'm going to go with just a simple redstone engine, which is crafted with two wooden gears, piston, glass, and wooden planks. So let's go ahead and get the stuff that I need for a piston. And I actually want two of these. So I'm going to need stuff for two pistons. And I think I have enough cobblestone. Let's go ahead and craft up these uh, pistons. I believe it goes the other way around. Get our pistons. And we need our wooden gears. Yeah, I'm aware that I had sticks in my inventory. I just noticed that after I crafted them. Like I said, I am a new... Oh, look. We have just the perfect amount of wood. So now we have ourselves two redstone engines. And I dropped one. Alright. 
Let's go over to our uh, little forestry room here. Alrighty. So we're back up here. I'm going to try and stay as far away from possible from these things. I'm really just going to try to like, sneak around. I'm going to put my redstone engines on uh, both sides of those. And of course, I'm just going to craft up two levers. Um, because the way these redstone engines work is they just need a simple redstone signal in order to function. So these guys, once they warm up, and they should be ready to go. Alright, so now this thing should be receiving power, and it is really not a lot of power at all. And I'm hoping that this will work. Uh, let's give it a few minutes, and I'll be right back if it makes any progress. Alright, so it's been a minute or two, and obviously it has not made any progress. So away with this idea. Select my levers. Now what I'm going to do, since that doesn't work, is I'm going to make an electrical engine. The way that you make this is similar to how you made the redstone engine. Uh, being, you know, you need your gears, you need your pistons, and um, all that fun stuff. So I'm just going to grab three, four, I need eight pieces of tin, three more, and then I need one piece of redstone. I need some more wood, and uh, I think that should be it. Let's get that out, and let's go ahead and craft up our electrical engine. So I need two wooden gears. I need to upgrade these to stone gears. I need to upgrade these stone gears to tin gears. I need to get these tin. Oop, nope, I lied. Uh, I need to make a piston which I have not enough cobblestone for. Alright, let's try this again. Some cobblestone. And we got our piston. And then we have our tin gears on the bottom like so. And we have our glass like that. And we have our tin up along the top and we get our electrical engine. Another thing that I'm going to need so I'm going to need some copper cables. Maybe a little bit more would help. Let's go ahead and craft these things up real quick. Got our copper cables, and we got that, and there we go. Alright, so let's run back over, and I'm going to put this in our uh, little un industrial craft room that we have going on there. Uh, because I don't feel like wasting the cables in order to uh, do something like that. Alright, I have enough coal, so this shouldn't be too bad to just run it for a little bit. Um, this really isn't the most efficient use of power, um, but you know, it's whatever. So, I'm just going to run it up like this. I'm going to put my electrical engine right there. I'm going to make I'm going to put the centrifuge right there. And I could either be smart and make a wrench to reorient this, or I could just break it and place it again. So the way this works is, obviously, it needs a redstone signal to be activated. Put that, and it runs. Right now it has no work to do, so it's not going to do anything. But when we put some silky comb in there, hopefully... Ugh. I'll be right back. Alright, and again, this just shows how much of a noob I am. This is a centrifuge, and I haven't even tested this, so if this doesn't work, don't be surprised. Let's test the squeezer. Kind of the same recipe, you just need tin. So let's go ahead and get ourselves six pieces of tin. And, uh, one more, two more and eight pieces of copper. Let's go ahead and get our crafting table and let's do this. And that. Okay. Make our sturdy machine. What the heck was that? Oh, it's leggings. Bronze leggings. 
Um, so we got our sturdy machine. Then we have our tin on the sides, like so. And we have a glass up top and on bottom. And this gets us our squeezer. So let's go ahead and try placing this down. I'll get it right eventually, don't worry. <laughs> it's all trial and error, you know? That was a weird texture glitch. See that? And, uh, alright, so the squeezer needs water. Let's go ahead and solve this issue that we have. Water. Water. Let's go ahead and put our bucket in there. Do this? No, we do not know about water. This surprises me. I have a lot of milk. One thing that I'm aware of is that there should be some water under here. <laughs> yeah, I just kind of went over it. And there, looks all nice and pretty. Um, so we're gonna go over here. Don't need a piece of cake. And we're going to teach a bucket of water to our transmutation table. And uh, if we have our water bucket in there, and we place a bucket in there, and just one piece of cobblestone, well, first off, there's a little bit extra EMC just lying around in there. Let's go ahead and use our Klein Star to suck that up. So if we put an empty bucket in there, it's worth 768. You'll see that if I put a cobblestone, which is worth one EMC, put it in there, we have the option for a water bucket. So a water bucket is just one EMC higher than a regular bucket. So what we're going to do is we're going to go and uh, create a little infinite water source just temporarily. And uh, we're going to go ahead and... <laughs> I'm an idiot. Push that right, place that right there and we put our water in there. 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 Oh, what the hell. I'll be right back. So you guys want to hear a funny story? Uh, so I spent probably about five minutes wondering what the hell was I doing wrong. And uh, I realized that <laughs> this is a bat box. The way it works is... Five out of the six sides of this cube work as an input, which is what this is. The other sides, such as this one, which is only one side, works as an output. Basically, I was trying to uh, take energy out of the input slot. Ugh, I'm a noob. You don't even have to say anything. I know. I am a noob. Uh... So, what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to hook this up, like so. I'm going to get my electrical engine. I'm going to put it right there. No, I'm not going to put my electrical engine down first. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put my centrifuge down first. It's going to go right there. And then I'm going to put my electrical engine down there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my lever. And I'm going to put it like so. I'm going to put my silky comb in there, activate this, and it's all working well. So as you can see, the progress is being made on our progress bar, slowly but surely. Oh, I just can't believe I did that. Maybe you guys can, but I don't even know. I'm an idiot. So as you can see, from one piece of silky comb, we got a honey drop. And we got some silky propolis. This silky propolis can be put back into the centrifuge after this stuff is done. And uh, by the way, there's only an 80% chance that you get silky propolis. There's a 20% chance that you don't get silky propolis. But there is a 100% chance that you got get a honey drop. So you know, that's pretty cool. So once this is done... As you can see, we didn't get a Silky Propolis on that one. We're going to put our Silky Propolis in there. And... After this works its way up. Anytime now. We got some regular Propolis. 
there's a 50% chance when you put Silky Propolis in a centrifuge, there's a 50% chance that you get Propolis, and another 50% chance if you get uh, to get a uh, Silk Wisp. And Silk Wisp, it will be uh, used in something that will be of use to me, which, as you can see, I got right there. Is there any uses for this? Uh, well, first it will be used to craft string. Um, but there's other uses for it, and I will show you that later once I get a lot more. Go ahead and turn that off. We have nothing for it to do. So, these are not doing anything during that. <coughs> Sorry, guys. That is the... <coughs> uh, like I said, not feeling good. So, that's the secret. You have to go and check on these guys at night. Because that's when they're not doing any work. Uh, another thing that you guys should notice is that there's a little health bar right here. Once it gets all the way down, damn it, I was wrong. I was wrong. They are doing something um, when they're not doing anything. That made no sense. Um, but yeah. Oh, it's, that's because it's daytime. But at night, they're not doing anything, so that's when you should go ahead and check on them. Just a helpful hint to you guys. Anyways, uh, like I said, there there's a uh, health bar right here. Once this is all the way down, you'll get a uh, tropical princess and a tropical drone. Oh wow, and it lasts for two minutes. That's insane. Uh, so let me get out of here before I die. And uh, that's pretty cool. So I'm just going to kind of put all this silky comb in there and uh, activate my lever. That's just going to use some of the buildcraft, or not the buildcraft, the industrial craft energy that I have. And it's going to kind of get that going. So that's some uh, pretty good news. Um, but this episode is running fairly long. Uh, of, obviously I didn't get to everything that I want to get to. And uh, because I run into a good amount of uh, complications along the way. Uh, I'll just call them complications at least. At the least. But anyway, um, yeah, so this episode we went ahead and we got some bees. We almost killed ourselves trying to breed some bees. Who know it could be so dangerous? Um, I learned a few new things. Hopefully you guys did too. Uh, you guys got to make fun of me a whole bunch for being a, being a noob and not knowing what I was doing. Trying to get energy out of the input in the industrial craft machine, so all kinds of things went wrong for me today. Uh, which just, you know, add a whole bunch of good stuff to my being sick. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to start on a new system. I'm going to take a break from the bees because there's a few things that I want to do before we really get into all these uh, bee things that we have. And uh, so, I'll give you, well, I actually gave you a hint last time, but I covered it all up. What I actually did is I took apart everything. I used any eye. I deleted the items that I crafted, and I got the items that I used to craft those things back through any eye. Uh, so technically it's not really cheating I guess. Uh, I only did that because I wanted to show you guys and uh, I wanted to have it ready for my next episode. Um, but anyway before I yap on and on and on any uh, uh, for too much longer uh, I'm going to start on a system and I'll give you a hint it involves something in a mod that we haven't done too much of. We did a little bit of it uh, today. Uh, you know just a little bit. We kind of touched on the mod that I'm going to be using um, for the ne next room that I'm building. Um, but anyway, yeah, I'm going to be starting on that next episode. A few people that I want to mention real quick. Um, It's Breezy subscribe to me. Uh, pretty cool. They have 42 subscribers. They have some, um, uh, Call of Duty. Oop, let's try not to play their video on YouTube. Um, uh, they play some Call of Duty stuff and whatnot. Uh, they have a few Minecraft videos, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, another person that was nice enough to subscribe to me is, uh, let's see if I can find them. Diolidin. I think I mentioned him in one of my other videos. Yeah, but I don't think he has any videos. Anyway, I just wanted to mention him because he was awesome enough to subscribe to me. Another person that subscribed to me is a uh, person that goes by the name of Paradox HD. 
uh, he has a lot of cool videos. He has uh, 60 subscribers, uh, which uh, is pretty damn awesome, you know. Uh, he has a few Minecraft videos and whatnot, and uh, he is a, uh, you know, pretty cool person. He's, uh, I believe he's involved in the uh, I Minecraft films, which I mentioned in one of my previous videos. I think it was the last one. And uh, so you definitely should go check out all those channels. And uh, for anyone else that I missed, I apologize, and I'll probably get you on the next, on the next um, uh, Let's Play episode that I do. Excuse my voice crack. Uh, but anyway, this has been Drawing Kit 1313 on episode 5 of my Let's Play series. Hope you enjoyed it, and hope you come back for episode 6. See ya!